Belle, Mel, Belle, please. How can we believe anything you say now? I have lost everything. Remember this? You didn't have brain cancer. The Belle Gibson train crash. Would you accept that you're a pathological liar? Coming up on 60 Minutes. Don't put that camera up at me. When you hear those claims, three heart operations, two cardiac arrests, died twice in a brain tumour. Sick to my gut. Her lies about beating cancer outraged the world. She's known as the biggest fraudster on Instagram. It's embarrassing. But closer to home... I'm angry. It was her big brother who really suffered. She'll never tell the truth. Now, Nick Gibson wants his say. You want your sister to go to jail? Yeah, to get a wake-up call. That's next on 60 Minutes. For all the wrong reasons, we all know of Belle Gibson. When she claimed she'd beaten terminal brain cancer by rejecting conventional treatment in favour of natural remedies, she became a hero of the wellness industry. Not only did she love the worldwide attention her inspirational story attracted, she profited from it to the tune of hundreds of thousands of dollars. But it was all a lie. Almost a decade on, the pain Bell Gibson inflicted still hurts. And there are still many victims of her cruel deception, including her big brother, Nick, who says his life has been ruined by his heartless sister. Used to have a basketball hoop on that garage there and play basketball as well. As a kid, Nick Gibson loved everything about life in suburban Brisbane. There's a house on the corner there with the, all the the wire fence, that's it. That's your house? That's, that's my old house. Happy and carefree, it was here he and his then unknown little sister, Belle, spent their days. What do you remember most about Belle growing up with her? Just running around, being kids and, you know, riding our bikes around the street, you know, being, being free. Did you ever think that she would be capable of doing what she did? No. A lot of people think we were twins back on when we were younger, because we looked the same, had blonde hair, you know, same height. Um, you know, we're, we're like, we're pretty close, like, you know, like glue, you know? From cheerful childhood to turbulent teenager, what Nick never imagined was how Belle's life would spiral into a world of deception. Belle, 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 please. Tara, I have lost everything and I'm not here to regain it. But when you hit rock bottom, there is only an opportunity to be honest and to heal and to apologise. And I'm here to do that. Cruelly, Belle Gibson deceived Australia and the world. She fooled us into believing she had terminal brain cancer and that she'd been able to cure it with healthy eating and natural therapies. It was a truly inspiring story until it all came crashing down. I didn't trade in my story yes, or, in other, or in other people's lives. You did trade in your story. Belle, it's all here. It is It there. is all here. You know, you go on Instagram in 2013. I have been healing a severe and malignant brain cancer for the past few years with natural medicine, Gerson therapy and foods. It's working for me. It is. <laughs> and Except if any... you didn't have brain cancer. No, I didn't. Tonight, Nick Gibson wants to speak because he's sick of guilt by association. He's had enough of being Belle's brother and wants to tell the truth about his lying sister. They say you can't pick your family, but if you could, would you still pick Belle to be your sister? Um, yeah, I wouldn't, yeah. I wouldn't. At um, the end of the day, she's still my sister. You know, she's done bad things, but she's also done nice things as well. This is so, not easy yeah. for Nick. At first, it's clear he's conflicted. He knows big brothers should always protect little sisters. She loves family, you know, she loves kids. She does have a heart when she wants to. But with Belle, 
Nick soon realises there are some actions that can never be justified. In an instant, his mood changes. I just want Belle to come forward and say sorry to fam the family she's ripped off and hurt and also pay the fine as she's been asked to. You're angry at her, aren't you? I'm angry. I don't like that hate word, but sometimes I feel like turning around to her and saying, Belle, I hate you. It's been more than a decade since Belle Gibson first duped the public. It started on Instagram. We're ecstatic with what we've come out with. Um, posing as a sick young mum, she courageously documented her battle with a terminal brain tumour. Cancer victims around the world were captivated by her strength and then rejoiced when she announced whole foods and alternative treatments, not conventional medicine, had led to a miraculous cure. Her story was inspiring enough for her online followers to part with half a million dollars to buy her award-winning cookbook and wellness app. Lying had turned Belle into a hero. Do you accept the Indeed. level of damage you've done to people's trust? I do. And they are feeling um, disrespected. They are feeling hurt. They are feeling betrayed. What has your sister done to your life? She's, she's stuffed it up real bad. I've had to go through counselling myself. I've, I don't like to be in public. I've had people come up to me and ask, you know, ask me questions and they think I'm like her when I'm not nothing like her. But I really hope she does watch this and see how much I am hurting. You are, aren't you? You're broken. I am. You now my kids see me hurting as well. They might be siblings, but Nick Gibson says he's spent the past eight years fending off Belle's untruths about their upbringing. That's one of my biggest fears, is raising a child in an environment the way that I was raised. My childhood was not I think anyone else's degree of normal, it's still not something that I have clear answers for. My family and I were often on the move very frequently. Talk about the family is what irritates Nick the most. And he's especially angry at an invention used by Belle to garner sympathy on multiple occasions that he is autistic. I mean, you have a very offended brother who claims he has no idea why you would describe him as autistic. It is heartbreaking. Excuse me. Sorry. It is heartbreaking for me that he still carries stigma. I don't think he... Well, I don't think that that comment means he carries stigma. I mean, no, he, he's, he's upset it, with you for describing him as having autism. Because he does. I don't have autism at all, no. Even when I was a kid, she used to call me retard. What did that make you think about yourself growing up? I hated myself, you oh, know, I, I didn't want to be around. I was shy, placid, and I didn't like to be out in the public just because things she said. And she's come out and said that you're virtually non-verbal. That's correct. Like, I talk to a lot of people. Um, I do have trouble with reading and writing, but that's, you know, it's always been the case. She knows what she's done and said is completely wrong. Like, it's, it's embarrassing. Nick Gibson says back in 2016, when Belle was desperately trying but failing to convince the media she really did have cancer. Did you think to go to a doctor? Did you think to go to the hospital? Did you think to get this checked out? 
Not really, not initially. Seeing her um, interview with Tara Brown on 60 Minutes was a confronting moment. He wants to live with the fear of a terminal illness. He says he dying. wasn't sure whether to laugh or cry. I was sitting in the lounge room and it came on and I was shocked. What is going through your mind when you're watching that? I was, I was thinking to myself, well, is that even Belle, is that my sister? You know, we're just in the dark, we never knew. Mm -hmm. You had three heart operations, you suffered two cardiac arrests, you died mm -hmm. twice on the operating table, mm -hmm. you had a stroke, mm -hmm. and you were diagnosed with an inoperable brain tumour and given four months to live. Correct. Has your sister ever been really unwell, ever suffered a serious disease? Not one and all, no. She never had any heart operations? Not one and all, no. Never gone into a cardiac arrest twice? No. Never died twice? No. Despite her lies being so publicly exposed, Nick still doesn't believe Belle has learnt any lessons. He says in 2017, when their mother Natalie was desperately ill and dying, Belle's greed continued to take priority over her compassion. The time Mum was in the hospice, you know, slowly, slowly passing away. Belle had the nerve to come to Brisbane, to my home, and clear the garage out. Like, Mum had jewellery up there as well in boxes. And I went back up there and it was, it was all cleaned out and, and then I contact Belle maybe about a few days later, a week later, and she couldn't say anything. She didn't, she avoided it all. So that jewellery is missing? Yes. It was mum had jewellery before she passed away on her body and then when I went back to visit mum at the hospice, it was gone. You really have to question Belle Gibson's morality. Her lack of remorse for anything she's done, including harming so many people, is breathtaking. In 2017, she was fined $410,000 by the federal court for engaging in unconscionable conduct. At the time, the judge said Bell had a relentless obsession with herself. Not surprisingly, despite multiple attempts by authorities to get the money, seven years on, it still hasn't been paid. That actually makes me sick. And I sit at home and I actually want to throw up. I go out the front door and I do that same thing Belle did. I wouldn't get away with it. She just has no regard, does she? Or no respect. She thinks of herself. It's not good enough. Go to prison and, you know, have a thing about what she's done. You want your sister to go to jail? Just, yeah, just to get a wake up call. These siblings have had rare contact via text message, but haven't spoken to each other in years. Nick realises that after tonight, that's unlikely to change. But he wants Belle to know she has an obligation, even so many years on, to try to right her many wrongs. I've got a heart. And if I had every single family she's hurt, in front of me right now, I'll be saying sorry to him. And if I had the money, I'll give it back to him. Truth. It's a meaningful thing, isn't it? it Telling is. the truth. And she never, she'll never tell the truth. Hello, I'm Dimity Clancy. Thanks for watching 60 Minutes Australia. Subscribe to our channel now for brand new stories and exclusive clips every week. And don't miss out on our extra minute segments and full episodes of 60 Minutes on ninenow.com.au and the Nine Now app.